Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, Ray here. Um, so, last video I always messed around with my fuel pump, had a few issues there. Um, I've been messing with the transmission for the last, well, since I got it put together. It's been about three months now I've been driving around, it's progressively getting a little bit worse. Um, like, it just won't shift. So, when it does shift, it's great. Um, I'm having the odd two to three flare. I don't know if you noticed in the last video after my car died if you go back and you can listen to the shifts that two to three shift I had a bit of a flare and came back down. So it's been doing that um, I did When I did build the transmission, I did put a shift kit in it. It's supposed to get rid of that that um, I think is unrelated to what is happening. I've tried uh, lots of things adjusting the vacuum modulator up and down got a new one um, tried different lengths of rods um, this past week I took the whole valve body out I didn't video it and I was just kind of messing around to see if I could find something obvious um, and everything looks good everything moves good nothing stuck so I cannot figure out why this thing won't shift like it's been getting it's fine when it's cold when it gets hot it just so either something is expanding in there or something's not I don't know Something's not working right. Like it's an it is an original valve body. So um, at this point, my cheapest option, which isn't always the right option, but for me right now, it's the cheapest option. That's all I want to spend on it right now. Um, I could try to find a used valve body, um, but I'd have to. Usually, it's just as much as finding a used transmission. Probably four or five hundred dollars around here if you can find one. Um, Right now, what I'm going to do is put in a, uh, a different shift kit, but kind of the same. Um, so it's going to go from, right now, the shift kit that's in it allows you to, if you have it in one, it stays in one. Have it in two, it stays in two. If you have it in drive, it'll just be a regular automatic. Um, but with the new one I'm going to put in, it's going to be a straight semi-auto transmission. So. Whatever gear it's in, it's going in. If it's you put it in drive, which is third, it's going to start in third. So I'll have to actually manually shift it through the gears, which may be annoying. Which, you know, I don't know. Um, right now it's annoying having to try to get it to shift to third when you're going down the road and it's revving about 4,500 4, RPM at, when you're at highway speeds. Um, it's not great. And the, that shift down with just random shift downshift for no reason is a bit of an issue for me um like it's pretty frustrating it's been longer drives like then you know, everything's hot it just doesn't want to shift whatsoever and sometimes it will it's just random um i've tried to pin it down why i, I there's nothing um that's standing out so um yeah this is where we're at so i'll show you the shift kit which one i have oh this is made by Transgo, I believe. Yep, there it is. Um, so currently I have in, so it's a 69 uh, C4 transmission, so I have a 47-2, which is in there. Um, I have no reason why I picked that one. It seemed to be okay. I read some reviews online. Everybody's like, it's a good mix of, you know, firm shifts and solve some of the problems with the transmission. So, I don't know, I put it in. Had it apart anyway, why not? Um, so, um, this one is 47-3. It is is the manual version, um, but if for some reason you don't like it, don't like the manual, it allows you to go back to an automatic as well. So it's actually two kits in one. Um, I should have bought this one first, because it when you go to the automatic version, it's just a 747-2, which is what I already bought previously to put in. So I'm going to be taking that out and putting in the same thing, essentially, just with a few extra pieces. So if anybody's looking for that, you can switch this one back to an automatic as well as go to a manual. So should have bought this one originally, probably. But here we are. So, yeah, 100 bucks later, and here we are. <laughs> That's what it costs. I'm hoping this fixes my problem. It should. Like, right now, I just need it to go into third. 
I just want it to do that when I'm at speed. So, and most of the times when I'm in town, like I've said this before, I have to shift an aim because it's always hunting for gears. Um, and it's, and it's sometimes it miss now it's missing the one, two shift. Um, it's just not great. So we're going to solve that with this. Um, so what I have here, it gives you two, um, valve body gaskets. So now these are supposed to be different. So one's supposed to be a manual version and one's supposed to be an automatic version. It tells you how to identify them. So there's two extra holes down here. So both of these gaskets have those extra holes and they are identical. So, which, you know, for anybody else that would probably be an issue. Um, like there's no extra holes, none that aren't punched out. These are identical gaskets. Um, so I was supposed to get an automatic and then a manual, I got two manuals. But as luck would have it, I already have an automatic one in there. So I'm gonna I'll keep it. If for some reason in the future I have, I don't know, ambition and or a want to go back to automatic, we can do that. So and it gives you the regional instructions. Everything's pretty straightforward. Um, gives you all your torque values. I heard some people and I say don't over torque them, go to the minimum torque specs. So I did that, same problem. Like everything I've tried, I end up, it's consistently the same. So um, now it does give you some springs. A lot of these springs I already have in this kit are already in the valve body, but just in case, like I know the orange and yellow springs, those are my pressure springs and I've got those installed already, but I'm going to replace them with these ones just because. I'll keep the other ones. Um, yeah, and there's a blocker plate that I have to put in and an extra valve. Um, this I've already done. That was in, included in the last kit. Um, so yeah, there it is. So I just took my car for a drive so it's nice and hot. So I gotta let it sit for a bit. Let it cool off. I've got it up in the air so maybe we'll give it I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour. Just so that transmission cools down so I don't burn myself and uh, we'll get that valve body out. Okay, so got the valve body out, separated. Um, everything looks good. It's very clean. Um, there's no chunks of anything. Filter looked okay, just the usual kind of stuff. I just had it apart the other day too, so I'd, I didn't take it apart this far, but I took apart the, uh, took my valves out to check them, but everything was clean. Nothing's noticeable anyway. Um, so that's the old gasket. New gasket. One of these, they're both the same. So that's going to go on there. Um, yeah, it's got a few extra holes in one spot, I guess. For something. Who knows what. Um, but I'm going to go through the instructions. Get rid of that. Get these instructions out. Um, and go through them and replace the springs one at a time. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, actually. It tells you all the main steps. Uh, it's a good idea to read through everything before you start, just to make sure you're not, um, missing anything or not prepared. So, um, yeah, I try to do it all at once. That way I don't get, uh, you know, halfway through, get have to go do something else and come back. So um, set aside some time to do this in one shot and uh, we'll see if we can't get it done. All right. So being that I've already um, had the other shift kit installed, the 47-2, a lot of these are the same um, instructions. You have to drill a hole in the plate, which I already done, have done previously. Um, there's an orifice plug, which is the same as in the other kit. The only other difference is there's a new um, ball and spring that have to go in place. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for the valve body. So I'm going to do that and uh, move on from there.
All right. So valve body is back together. Everything's torqued. Um, just follow the instructions. It tells you what order to torque everything. Um, it says to put the filter on first before you attach it, or before you even uh, torque the side plate bolts. Um, so done that, and final page, which is there. So, uh, yeah, it just gives you the basics on what to do now. Um, you have to have, still have a vacuum modulator connected. Um, it says to disconnect kick down linkage for manual. I've done that. Um, and then if you happen to install for automatic use, it, sh it shows you what to do for that. If yours works good, it even gives you the pin length, what you need. Um, Yeah, to convert back to automatic. So if you've set it manual, it gives you instructions for that. Adjustment bands, what to do. Um, so yeah, these are already set. So I'm pretty much ready to go. Um, throw this back in there, get it torqued up, get the pan installed, put the fluid back in, and uh, yeah, we'll be driving in no time. So let's do that. All right. So valve body's all done. I put it back in. Transmission, flew it back in, started it while I was on the jack stands, ran it through the gears. Seems to be working okay. Um, so uh, we're gonna take it for a test drive here. Okay. All right, let's see how this goes. Reverse, we have reverse, it's good. Oh, yeah, now I got to go to first. That's right. seems to work okay. We'll go for a little bit yet. Yeah, it's only been 10 seconds.
note um, everything's running great so I thought this was a better spot to finish off this video than in my garage a um, little scenic overlook nearby and yeah that's pretty much it everything's working great um, you know it's only been the first 30 minutes of a test drive but you know so far so good and there she is she's looking pretty good in the sunlight anyways thanks for watching we'll see you next time